Welcome back to the Happy Camper, coming to you as always from the beautiful mountains of southwest Montana. Unfortunately, our greeter Macy wasn't able to be with us today, but we'll soldier on without her. We'd like to give a big thanks to our sponsors at Rocky Mountain RV. That's www.rockymtnrv.com. Rocky Mountain RV does provide the inventory for our videos that we review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new 2020 Coachman Freedom Express 20 BHS Pilot. This little camp trailer is one of the coolest single axle camp trailers on the market today. I think that Coachman has really hit a home run with this little package. <laughs> Let's take a look at this trailer in, a, in an in-depth view. Starting right up here at the front, Coachman's new 2020 models have added this front automotive style windshield that's trimmed with decals as well as front lighting, fiberglass cap, lower rock guard, dual propane tanks. This one is a manual tongue jack. Right up here on the front, you can see that they do add a battery disconnect switch. And that's just a little key where you can turn your batteries off so they don't go dead during storage. It's a great little feature, especially when you're out, out here in Montana without power readily available. And especially when you're in storage. The front rack on this is wide enough for dual batteries. This unit, when purchased from Rocky Mountain RV, will include dual batteries on the front. And that's two uh, interstate Group 24 batteries that they would mount right here. It has not been done on this coach yet, and each dealer is individual on that, so you do want to definitely check with your dealer to find out what they include. The propane up here on the front is two 20-pound propane tanks. Those are five-gallon tanks. They'd be the barbecue size. They do have a dual regulator with an auto switch over, and that's going to provide plenty of gas for this little camp trailer. You can see that the Freedom Express is featured in white Exterior fiberglass that's laminated over an aluminum structure with the block foam insulation. I'm a huge fan of the companies going back to a white exterior. All the colored fiberglass gave us many, many problems in the RV industry with everything from fading to overheating the glue and delaminating the sidewalls. So I'm a really big fan of seeing white coming back. It's just a classic, great overall look. They put the dark black accents on it to give it that, that great overall look. You can see that the Coachman Freedom Express does come standard with four scissor stabilizer jacks at all four corners. They are riding this trailer on 15 inch radial rubber and aluminum alloy wheels to give it a little bit more pop. Exterior shower and detachable marine grade power cord are standard features on this unit as well. Tinted ventilation windows. This is our rear storage, and this is going to go in underneath our rear bunk. And the cool thing with this little door is the bunk will hinge up and allows you to have all this storage in the back. So if you have a tall item like kids' bicycles, for instance, that are really hard to get in, you've got a little spot right here that they'll fit. Back of the coach is a pretty standard affair. It is prepped up top for the Furion backup camera. We do have a, a bumper down here at the back that is set up to carry your sewer hose, which most RV bumpers are. The neat thing with this trailer is Coachman recessed the bumper in underneath the back wall slightly to where it sticks out only about half of the distance. And that's going to shorten the overall length on this trailer and allow you to get it into a little tighter spot, or if you're putting it in a storage spot, it makes it a lot easier to get it in and out. Full power awning on the Coachman Freedom Express. Again, I've expressed my great appreciation to the, the RV industry for the power awnings. I think they're a great feature. So easy to use. Press the button, it goes in. Press the button, it goes out. Anyone can do it. It only takes one person. They are adjustable. We've been having a lot of rain here in Montana the last few days. And um, so if you are out in the rain and you want to let the rain run off, you simply loosen this knob. This slides in to adjust the awning down and that'll allow the rain to run off. That is available on both ends of the awning. And then when you're ready to put it out, you just extend that arm back out. 
Up underneath our awning fabric, here's our full length LED strip light. That's going to light up the whole side of the trailer at night. They don't seem to attract the bugs and they're very, very easy on the batteries. We do also have the backup LED porch light on this. And that's just because if the awning is in, that LED strip is very much obscured. So they do add the porch light as well. Standard fare with refrigerator vents and exterior access into the water heater. This is running the six gallon gas fast recovery from Atwood slash Dometic. This little outdoor table, on a side note, does come with this little trailer. When it comes out of the factory, it comes with this little plastic outdoor table. So it's one less thing you have to buy when you purchase a Coachman. Up, up here on top of the table, I've added just a few things that you have to have to make the trailer workable. Uh, these items all happen to come in this little kit from Valterra. It includes a 25 foot freshwater hose. This is a 30 amp to 15 amp power cord adapter to get you down to your normal home outlet. This is a water pressure regulator, gets us down to 45 pounds of water pressure. It threads in line here on the end of the hose and then goes up on the spigot and that protects the hose as well as the water system on the trailer. Little surface level, does come with four packages of biochem for your toilet as well as your sewer hose, 10 foot extendable with the positive connection elbow. This has the multiple thread set up so it will fit into all the all the connections at the campgrounds as well as at your dump site and that is good, getting to be required equipment. <clears throat> Again with Coachman, what an iconic company. Been around the industry forever. Started in the 50s, still around today, and they just build a great trailer still. Here a few years back, Forest River did purchase Coachman. It is still run as an independent company, and that adds a couple of benefits. We get the purchasing power of a large company like Forest River and the backing with their warranty, and then we also get the quality and history that comes with Coachman. Once again, what a great little trailer. This is prepped for the Furion solar connection. This is wired directly into the batteries. If you have a portable solar panel, if you've been around my channel, you've probably seen the GoPower 130 watt portable solar panel that will plug directly into that. I didn't bring it out today. It's been so rainy and dark, but that is what that's designed for and it is a nice little feature. Everybody knows how much I like those. Front storage compartment is huge in this little 20 foot camp trailer. It's got big doors on both sides. It is lighted and of course we do have our switch for our front lights there as well. Dual entry step and large assist grab handle round out the outside features very, very nicely on this unit. Right up here above us, we do have some outdoor speakers as well, so we can listen to our stereo. Our door is supported by a small gas assist prop rod, and that's just gonna hold the door open so you don't have the little plastic tab that breaks off. It also keeps it from hitting the awning. Let's take a peek inside this guy. Inside the 20 BHS Coachman Freedom Express, you can see the panoramic windows up here in the front. This is that front windshield that we saw from outside. What a view. We do have ventilation over here at the head of the bed. Great overhead cabinets. Coachman does a very light colored cabinet to keep the inside of their trailers very bright. Uh, TV, we did, this, this unit was optioned with a TV as well as a DVD. It also has the little fireplace right at the foot of the bed. And to round out the features, just little great options and features like this. These are two little laundry baskets that are built into a cabinet right at the foot of the bed. Up on our ceiling, of course, our LED lights interior speakers, overhead roof vents. And as we come down the kitchen wall here, again we have the overhead cabinets, a Furion microwave, stainless steel face, stainless steel hood, two burner cooktop, as well as a stainless sink with a high-rise faucet. And this is a uh, this is a thermal treated countertop, so it is seamless and it is completely waterproof. We do have our little countertop cover that goes in and completely matches and brings that back to flush. 
Again, an exterior window here in the kitchen. We do have a little overhead strip LED light here as well. Give us a little extra light in our kitchen. Down below is our lower storage. And again, here's one of the features that Coachman is known for forever. No one else in the RV industry has caught up with them on this feature. Instead of just having a face, uh, a blank cabinet face here that you can't get into because we do have sink plumbing, Coachman has designed this special drawer that fits around the plumbing and is especially set for with a, an, an insert tray for all your silverware. What a great little feature on a trailer like this. We're not wasting space in a trailer where space is a premium. We do have storage down underneath, of course. Storage here underneath the cooktop, and that's a nice big storage for pots and pans. And then again, some additional full extension ball bearing roller guides on, on dovetail wood platform drawers. Of course, travel latches on everything. For a single axle, one of the features that is normally absent is a double door refrigerator, not here in the Coachman Freedom Express. They run the, the double door, six cubic foot Dometic. Of course, our furnace and our electrical center is just underneath that as well. Up here on the roof, just above me, roof mount air conditioning. This is a central unit with the controls right on the AC there. Again, these small units don't require ducting. That, uh, that AC will make this guy a meat locker in about 20 minutes. Over here in the back corner are our oversized bunk beds. And these are not double over double bunks, but they are a nice size. They're a great size for kids. Even up into teenage kids would be able to use these bunks well. And these are the teddy bear bunk mattress pads. They're very comfortable, very soft. You can see that both bunks are lighted. This guy has a window here, which is an emergency escape window. The upper bunk does have a ventilation window as well, and the overhead light. We do also have a little privacy curtain here. Back here in the bathroom, again, finished very, very nicely. One of the best things about this trailer is an overhead skylight in the bathroom. It adds a ton of natural light. We don't have to come in and turn a light on every time we step into the bathroom. Full shower surround in an oversized shower pan. And then we do have a little shelf here in the back with, with some towel hooks. They are running the Thetford porcelain toilet with foot flush. And again, it's an upgrade over just your standard plastic. Outlets and wall light switches in there. Again, a, a very interesting color combination. Kind of a darker gray here. Some light wallboard and some very light cabinetry against black faced uh, appliances there and really makes a great contrast inside of this little camper. As I'm coming back up here on the off door wall, you can see our small power slide out. This is going to slide the sofa and of course the sofa will fold down into a bed. It's, it's a short bed, it would be good only for a small child, but again, it does have that option. The sofa is done in a kind of a life-proof fabric. It's, it's not an actual leather, but it does feel pretty good. It does have a fold-down armrest with two cup holders, foldable table here in front of me, some of our safety equipment down there for LP gas detector, thermostats as well as our monitoring systems and pump switches. Backlight in the cabinet there, again small features, small little things that make this trailer a, a very very good value. Very very impressed with this trailer for its size and its feature list. Again the little things that come through the trailer the, the silverware drawer here again, what a great feature. The small strip light up here so you do have light when you're when you're working at the sink. A fireplace and built-in built-in uh, laundry baskets there at the foot of the bed. This trailer was very well thought out, very well optioned. Uh, I can't say enough good about it. Uh, any minuses that I found with the trailer, I found two things that I don't like about the trailer necessarily. Number one, 
this unit is simply equipped with a two burner interior cooktop instead of a three burner with an oven. That is a detriment to this particular unit. Uh, to some people it wouldn't make any difference. Some people say we're only going to make coffee inside, we're not going to do a lot of cooking. Most of the cooking is going to be done outside, that type of thing. I personally like to play with my Dutch ovens when I'm out and have some time to do that in the backwoods of Montana. So the oven isn't a deal killer for me. I do like an oven, but again, I can make do with this unit without it. The only other feature that the unit is missing, in my opinion, would be a power front tongue jack. In a unit at this price point and this feature level, it's something you would almost expect. But again, I wouldn't concern myself with it because it can be added easily at any dealership. It's an inexpensive feature to add to the unit. Three bolts and one wire to install it, and it's very, very simple. So again, that's something that can be added. I don't know if it's available out of the factory. I would, I would think that it is, and this particular one was optioned without it. But again, even if it doesn't have it, it's a very simple thing to add in. The unit here, pricing, and again, we hate to show pricing because we never know when you're going to watch these videos. But again, this is, uh, we're looking at September of 2019 today. This unit is a 2020, so it is fresh out of the Coachman stable. The MSRP, just over $29,000 on this guy. And uh, our good friends over at Rocky Mountain are showing this guy for just over $20,000. Uh, again, for the way this unit's featured and optioned, I think it's a steal. I can't imagine how you could go wrong with the Coachman Freedom Express. We appreciate you watching today. And from kind of a drizzly, wet, rainy day here in southwest Montana, we just want to tell you, happy camping.